Hi guys, this is Trinity again, um, Thursday in the States, Friday in Australia, um, for We Are The Bad Cats. And today, um, the theme for this week, as you've seen, has been us discussing, um, like, our parts of goth, or like, what parts we fit into, basically showing you, like, items from our wardrobe, um, that are important to us. So, I'm gonna be showing you some awesome stuff. Um, first things first, this is my nightshirt, and it's badass. Sorry. Um, it's also from Threadless. Um, and then these are my bat PJ pants, which I got, um, last Halloween, um, like two days after Halloween when they had that, like, the huge sale. Um, they were Batman PJ pants for, like, little boys or something. I don't even know. But they were awesome, and I therefore bought them. Um, so let's get started. These are, oh, let's see if you can see that better. These are my Doc Martens. These are, I believe, 14 eyelet. Um, they're black, traditional. Um, they tend to be my everyday boots, um, especially since I moved to Boston. They were the shoes that I came here with. Um, and these are my adorable Winkle Picker knockoffs that I got from Target like three years ago. I can't even explain. Like, look at this. Look. I'm going to sew that back up. Yeah. These are so comfortable. And I got them for $25 on clearance. Because nobody back in my town that I'm familiar with has any sense in shoes whatsoever. So every size and every half size of that boot was on clearance. It was amazing. These are my new boots that some of you may have heard me talking about. Um, these I actually got from a friend, Gently Used. Um, these are also Doc Martens, um, which you can probably tell if you can see, see the bottoms there. Um, these are, um, these I got for a hundred. And let's start with this. Um, this is a jacket that I made um, when I was in high school. Actually, my senior year of high school, I made this. Um, the, as you can see, I have a few patches on it. Um, this right here is actually um, painted on with acrylic. Um, I painted it on freehand. It's actually much brighter in person. Um, it's red and um, darker red and black cheetah print. Um, and the um, stockings that I, well, these were stockings. I ripped them up, tore them apart, put them on the arms. Um, these are not sewn on yet. Right now, they are actually being held on by internal safety pins. Um, if you ever find safety pins on my clothes, they're actually being used to hold it together. Um, I never put safety pins on um, for aesthetic purposes. Um, it's always strictly because some shit's falling apart. Um, this is um, one of my, like, if I'm ever feeling terrible and I'm wearing a hoodie, um, like a big, baggy, comfortable hoodie, this is the hoodie that I'm always wearing. Um, this is from Threadless Again. Um, and if you can see that, it says, I want you dead. Um, and it's a mock off of the American Uncle Sam. Um, and then on the front here, it actually has a skull with some intestines and an anchor and some awesome stuff. Um, so this I wear like if I'm ever feeling really shitty or like if I'm just around the house or I'm doing laundry or something like that. Like this is my go-to happy, happy um, hoodie. Um, this is my seriously, not even joking, everyday jacket. I am one of those people that I never leave the house without a jacket. It can be 90 degrees outside. I don't give a shit. I'm wearing a jacket. Um, this is the jacket that you usually find. Um, as you can see, the hoodie is, uh, well, the hood itself is um, patterned um, in plaid, uh, black and gray. Um, I got this from Ragstock in Chicago a few years back for like 20 or $30. Um, it's a black jean, which is wonderful. This is actually um, a patch from my roller derby days. I played roller derby for, um, for two years, 
um, just over two years actually, um, until recently, um, back home. And yeah, this was our little little pin. We were the brawlberries. Look at us and our cuteness. We were strawberries. Our colors were um, pink and green. Um, and you can see I used my pocket in this jacket to store all my shit. I do not carry a purse. I never carry a purse. The closest thing I come to with a purse is this messenger bag, which is a Misfits Misfits messenger bag. That is the closest I come to a purse um, other than this guy, which I get so many compliments on this that is, it isn't, it is insane and I adore it. I got it for $12 at a Spirit of the Halloween store. It's actually a trick-or-treat bag. Um, I got it last year and I've had people tell me that they think it's made by Alexander McQueen, which is fucking great. Um, so back to the jacket really quick. This is my birthday party patch. I have an obsession and love of Nick Cave and anything related to Nick Cave. He is amazing. I seriously have some sort of weird fixational, obsessional crush on him. Um, and you'll also notice that just about everything I own that's like an over jacket or anything like that is, is always has a patch on it. Um, at, at the least. Um, which brings me to this, which actually, this isn't finished yet. Um, this was originally a long men's jacket, men's jean jacket that my most recent ex-boyfriend's father gave me, um, like two or three years ago. And I, I'd ripped it apart, but I never actually did anything with it until, like, um, winter va this past winter vacation, I think it was, um, when I actually got started. And so it is Christian Death Patch on the back here. You can see that there's actually black lace that connects the panels together. Um, that's because I'm cheap. Um, and that's my Sisters of Mercy patch. And then that's my alien, one of my many alien sex queen patches. I have a lot. Um, yeah, and it goes on. And yeah, it buttons just like that. Um, so in the back, it looks like that. Um, and I still have more to do to it. Um, I want to add some, I want to put some studs on it and um, some leopard print and other items to, such as that. Um, I also frequently wear this scarf. Um, this scarf I actually got in September when I went to Los Angeles um, for a week to stay with to stay with some now ex family. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. Um, I actually got this at the Hallmark store for eighteen dollars. Um, I got it one because it's covered in skulls. Two because it looks like Alexander McQueen's scarf. And I really, really love Alexander McQueen and have for many years. Um, and so there's that. And give me one second here. Okay. This is the inside of one of the only, I have two pairs of pants. Okay. I do not really care about pants. Um, this is one. I actually, these are um, really bright red plaid pants that fit me perfectly that I found at a Goodwill for three or four dollars. Um, love them. This is a striped bell sleeve jacket, or bell sleeve shirt, sorry, um, that goes much like this. And so you can see it has the, the baggy sleeves. Um, I love this shirt a lot. I actually just bought this from work um, a couple of weeks ago for about $15 or $13 um, because it just came out in black and white and that was amazing because previously I owned strictly a pink and purple one. Great. Not as cool as black and white for me. I'm really heavy into stripes. Um, and... Let's see, okay, this, I own two Joy Division shirts, okay, two. This one, the uh, traditional Joy Division, unknown pleasures. Um, and then I own a slightly longer one. Um, 
Oh, okay. Found it. I'll show you my pile in a second so you can actually see like my heap of clothes. Um, how great I am at folding clothes and putting clothes away. It's, it's pretty great. Um, this is my second one, which this one's a lot darker. Um, you can see at the top here it says Joy Division in blue, and then you see Ian Curtis in purple. Um, I love this shirt because it's really long, um, and I prefer longer shirts for the most part. Um, so this is, this was a pair of capris that I had like a long time ago, far back in the past, you know. Um, I've been out. Anyway, um, these are what I wear most of the time. Um, these, and I have like one other pair that are pretty much the same as these. But these um, were are made of a really thin, um, a really thin fabric, and I loved them. Then they got a rip. I couldn't repair the rip, so I just ripped them apart and kept wearing them, and still do. I actually wore them today. Um, probably wear them tomorrow too because that's how I roll. Um, so yeah, and sometimes I get comments from people about, because this is technically where, you know, my groin is. So there's not really a whole lot going on as far as, uh, covering things. Um, so I, I sometimes get a lot of, um, comments about people who can see my kidneys and things of that nature. Um, and I don't really care. Um, I played roller derby, and so I pretty much feel comfortable walking out in public in underwear. So you should be happy I even even have shorts on. Okay. Um, I have a lot of stripes, um, striped socks of different kinds. These are purple and black. These are black and gray. I never match my socks ever unless I'm actually allowing people to see them, which does happen sometimes. Um, but I'm always wearing striped socks. I just usually don't show them. To people um because I usually have them over tights um because I have my my tights in the boots and so I don't want my feet to get blisters um so I usually never wear um two pairs like this this was my combo today um you know never usually the same um I also love leg warmers um these I actually got for Christmas when I was like 13 from my grandmother um, never wore them, found them when I got older and was like, where the fuck have these been my entire life? Pretty much. Um, they have a hole, a couple of holes in them. I could care less, really. Um, they're also from roller derby. Like, uh, I wore these in about once, and so, um, they skidded on the floor, hence the holes. Um, and we're almost done. This... It's one of my other favorite shirts. Um, it's a crop, crop shirt. Alien Sex Fiend, as you can see. Um, I usually wear that under um, a black and gray uh, zebra print um, long sleeve shirt. This, I always layer my tights. Um, I'm, I'm rarely wearing one layer of tights unless they're opaque. Um, and usually I still prefer to put fishnets over them. Um, I think the most I've worn at once um, has been five, uh, four or five pairs of tights at once. Um, the more tights you have, the cooler you are, in my opinion. Um, so as you can see, these are fishnets, um, that have been beaten to hell. Um, you can actually see that if you have them on. I actually have a couple of safety pins in, um, one, you can kind of, you can see the little glinting here. Um, which are help, used to hold together that specific pair of fishnets. Um, as I said, never use them for aesthetic purposes. Um, this is the last item I will show, and then um, I'll show you my big heap, and then my heap as in where I actually like don't put away clothes. Um, this is another striped shirt. It's much smaller, but it's one of my absolute favorites because it's so tight fitted. So this is what this shirt looks like. It's pretty great. I actually found this, this shirt for $5 at Goodwill. $5. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a bit of, um, that's quite a bit actually of my clothes. Um, 
I tend to fall somewhere in the, the general range of like post-punk slash old school to like the death rock range, like punk, like a darker punk, um, horror punk more so. But somewhere in that, that pool is usually where 